Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Now can you see what I've done here? I have knitted a hat, it's got a cable up it. Um, what has that got to do with the topic of this video? Well, as I have a seam in it, I have ends I need to sew in, but also obviously because I had a cast on, whether I was knitting it with a seam or whether I was knitting it with a um, circular needle, I still have this thread that I need to sew in. So let's do that together. There are my knitting needles from knitting this. I've got my scissors all ready for when I need to snip this end off. And I have a tapestry needle here. Most importantly, this is a blunt-ended needle, it's got a large eye. This can be sold as a tapestry needle, and it can also be sold as a knitter's sewing needle. So let's just thread that up and I'm going to start weaving in this end. Now weaving is the word because you're not going in and out and in and out of the fabric. You're just gently moving the needle through the stitches. Ideally it's through the back of the stitches. This is the reverse of the hat. You can see that that is the right side the side that I want everyone to see, and this is the reverse side. So what I'm going to do is just move this cast on thread into these stitches here. And I'm going to very gently weave that few through a few of these diagonally. You can see what I've done there. So that's going through four points there. I'm gonna keep going diagonally. I'm gonna go through a few more And that is just weaving through there. Let me just pull that end through. I'll do a couple more stitches. And then I'm going to move direction. I'm going to just switch that around. You can just very slightly see where that thread has gone. And I'm going to move into the same, um, same idea, just weaving into stitches diagonally but just going in a different direction. I've changed, I've gone right angles there. And then I just catch a few more. Now that would be enough but I like to just move into one more change of direction and then if it starts to unravel it's not going to go all the way along, it's more likely to stop at the corner there. Okay, that you can't notice that from the right side. You can barely notice it from the wrong side. But now I can just snip that off and that will last a good long time. When it, if ever it does come undone, you can just gently thread it up and weave it back in. Or because you've gone through a good number of stitches at the back there, you can just snip it off where it's, where it's come loose. There you go, that is weaving in ends, and you can do the same thing. You will need to do the same thing if you're changing your yarn, maybe if you're knitting a larger object like a baby blanket, and you may have used five or six balls of yarn, you need to swap them as you go through. Then that's it, that's all you need to learn. You just need to be able to weave those ends in using the tapestry needle, and just take your time with it. Go through diagonally one way, diagonally another way, and then you may want to turn back on yourself or keep going, um, just to give yourself a couple of angles so that it doesn't all unravel in one direction and it's got a bit more security there. If you like this pattern, then it is part of my new cable course. It's um, level one crafty cables. I do hope you'll come over and join me. We are knitting Mug Cozy together a headband and what I've done in matching yarn is also make these fingerless mitts. So we have fingerless mitts and matching cloche as well. So yeah, I do hope you'll come over and join me. It's available on knitwithhannah.co.uk. Do come over and have a look, see whether it's something you'd like to like to join me for. Thank you very much, very much for joining me today. I'll see you again, either on my blog or on my YouTube channel. Um, happy knitting. Have a great week. Bye.